Hello everyone and welcome back to these sessions on derivatives and uh, in this class of derivatives we are going to discuss about options arbitrage and uh, this is with respect to one year or one period binomial model. So basically I would expect that you are watching this class after having complete understanding about options valuation because if you haven't covered options valuation you will not be able to take this discussion ahead so for anyone who hasn't covered options valuation I would recommend do not continue watching this particular video go and watch all my recorded videos on options valuation and then it makes sense to cover up options arbitrage. So let me give you a background about options arbitrage. First of all arbitrage is a concept of making risk free gains you know it very well. Now how can options be considered for arbitrage? So what happens in case of option valuation you have learned how to determine the fair value of an option. Then what happens you identify that the price of the option prevailing in the market may not match with the option value that you have determined and the option could be either underpriced or overpriced. So if the option is underpriced you say you prefer buying that option. If the option is overpriced you prefer selling that option. Now based on the underpricing or overpricing of any option one can find an arbitrage opportunity and that is what we talk about options arbitrage. Now this concept is very very important for CA final AFM paper, CMA final SFM paper and CFA level 2 examinations where this is included in the heading derivatives. So let us do one thing let us break down this whole discussion into two components. First we will talk about the delta of an option and how it is associated with the valuation of an option and once again I would say this whole discussion I am having with you keeping in mind that you are well versed with all option valuation models. So let us begin with an example straight away over here let me enhance the screen size for your reference example number one over here it says current market price of the stock is $1.50 one year call option is available at an exercise price of $1.50 so stock price is $1.50 and one year option has exercise price as same that is $1.50 risk free rate of interest is given as 10% per annum in absence of any specific information we will consider annual compounding because the period over here is one year the probable market price at uh, end of the year will be they have given two different probable prices the lower probable price is $1.40 higher probable price is $1.60 determine the value of delta of the call option as well as the present value of the call option. So when you talk about options arbitrage obviously first you need to know the fair value of the option once you have determined the fair value of the option then you can compare with the quoted price of that option that is what price option is trading at in the market at present. So how do you find delta of an option now here comes the role of spread spread between the share price that is a probable share price by end of the year which we can see from the example the lower probable price is $1.40 and the higher probable price is $1.60 the spread means the gap between the lower and higher probable price you can easily figure out without even using your calculator that it will be $1.20 so $1.20 is the spread in the share price by end of the year fine what about the spread in the option value now for that you will have to figure out the option value so you know what happens when you are dealing with a call option a call option is exercisable in one condition where the prevailing market price should be greater than the exercise price. If the prevailing market price is less than or equal to the exercise price nobody will exercise the option 
and the option gets lapsed the value of that option over there will be zero you know it very well these things we have discussed at length under option valuation so you find the value of call option at lower as well as higher probable prices at lower probable price the value of the option will be zero i have just explained it to you at higher probable price the value of the option will be determined based on the criteria of option valuation for a call option a call option when exercised its value will always be market price minus exercise price on its maturity market price which is the higher probable price over here that is dollar 60 minus the exercise price that is dollar 50 will give you the value of the option as dollar 10 when the price is expected to be the higher probable price that is dollar 60 so now we find the value of option under both lower and higher probable price and we can find the spread in the option value so what will be the spread in option value at higher probable price its value is dollar 10 at lower probable price its value is 0 find the spread 10 minus 0 will be 10 then what you do is take the ratio of the spread for option value divided by the spread in the share price so we have computed both the spreads it will be dollar 10 divided by dollar 20 and that will give you 0.5 now what is this ratio you need to understand very well in finance when we talk about option valuation this is basically referred to as delta of an option the same thing can also be referred to as hedge ratio why is that called hedge ratio and more importantly what is the logic behind computing these spreads you know when i have taken the discussion on portfolio replication model now many students do not touch portfolio replication model considering that as an outdated model everyone sticks to binomial model and what happens they miss out on those discussions whereas i always emphasize that you do watch the content on the portfolio replication model it is that particular discussion where i have covered the logic behind the spread between the option value and the spread between the share price what is the logic behind computing these spreads and what is the logic behind converting these spreads in the form of a ratio you can find the hedge ratio or delta or inverse of the delta which also can have a different meaning anyway right now this particular example is emphasizing on the value of delta so i have just broadly explained to you how would you compute the value of delta so in the numerator you will be taking the spread in the option value in the denominator you will be taking the spread in the share price how to present those calculations i'll just quickly show you on the screen but once you compute delta of an option the next thing demanded in this example is the value of that call option given in this example now for applying options arbitrage you need to find whether a particular option is underpriced or overpriced that underpriced or overpriced situation will be analyzed only when you compute the fair value of the option and compare the same with the price of that option quoted in the market in other words at what price the option is currently being traded at so that is why the value of option you have to determine what we will do is we will be using the binomial model for computing the value of that option and i don't think i have to provide any explanation on computing the value of a call option as per binomial model because i told you very clearly if you are watching this video it is after covering the option valuation concepts so let us do one thing let us uh, move ahead and write up the solution to this example in your solution you first begin with the spread between the two probable prices expected by year end spread will be the higher probable price minus lower probable price that will be dollar 60 minus dollar 40 that will give you dollar 20 option value for call option when exercised is mp minus ep if hpp that is higher probable price prevails that is dollar 60 value of the option will be 60 minus 50 that is dollar 10 because you are exercising the option if lower probable price prevails that is dollar 40 
you are not going to exercise the option because if you exercise the option in this scenario the value of the option will become negative and value of option for the holder should not be negative the holder will simply not exercise the option the holder will let it lapse so value of option will be zero in that case so spread between the two probable options value by end of the year will be option value at HPP minus option value at LPP that will be 10 minus 0 that will be dollar 10 so delta of an option will be change in the option value or you can call it as spread in the option value divided by change in the underlying or spread in the share price whatever keep in mind one thing options are derivatives the underlying over here is that particular share so in the denominator for computing the delta which is a ratio you will always take the spread of the underlying or spread of the share in our example right now so computation is going to be very simple it will be 10 divided by 20 that will be 0 0.5 what is the significance of this ratio 0 0.5 I'm going to explain to you but first you write this whole thing all right friends once you have completed writing this whole thing let me explain to you what exactly is this delta or hedge ratio what is the significance of this calculation what we got as 0 0.5 so when you want to go for options arbitrage or you want to hedge your portfolio what you need to do is you should first arrive at the hedge ratio which is basically the options delta now this 0 0.5 over here signifies that it will be 0 0.5 shares against each call option I repeat it will be 0 0.5 shares against each call option in other words the quantity of the call option or the number of call options should be twice the number of shares so if you take portfolio replication model over there we generally compute the inverse of delta which would give you two call options per share here we are just taking the delta ratio or the hedge ratio and calling that as 0 0.5 shares for every call option that is the significance of this ratio once again I am telling you the detailed logic of computing these spreads which is very important for any student to understand I have covered under portfolio replication model don't miss out watching that video if you haven't watched yet so now let us do one thing let us move ahead with the later part of the solution this part I don't have to explain to you at all this is basically the value of call option and this value of call option through binomial model when you write this formula you should know the variables how these are defined C is the value of call option at present CU is the value of call option on expiry when the price goes up that is at higher probable price the value of the call option will be ten dollars CD will be the value of option on expiry when the price goes down that is zero because the option gets lapsed we have seen these things earlier the capital I over here is the factor that will be one plus risk-free interest rate and that will be 1.1 in this case and the two other variables that is u and d are ratios again u represents HPP divided by spot price that will be 60 divided by 50 and d will be LPP divided by 0 that will be 40 by 50 so the ratio u indicates 1.2 times and d indicates 0 0.8 times once again I would say that these things I have explained in detail with binomial model of option valuation so I'm not going into the details of these things in this particular video because my objective is to explain options arbitrage so please write up this whole thing and then I take you ahead all right friends once you have written this whole thing let us move ahead and we write up the substitution of all these values you don't have to rewrite the formula again I have just written it for your reference you just substitute the values that we have obtained and defined in the previous slide 
and when you do that calculation what you obtain is you know this ratio under binomial model of option valuation this ratio that is i minus d by u minus d is basically the probability of price going up. So, probability of the price going up over here is 1.1 minus 0.8 divided by 1.2 minus 0.8 that gives you basically 0.3 divided by 0.4. So, that means you have 75 percent chance of the share price moving up. So, the probability of the price moving up is 0.75. So, the probability of the price coming down will be 0 0.25 which is represented by this ratio. Now, we did not even bother to compute this ratio because this is going to get multiplied to 0. So, eventually it will be 0. When you now solve this part in the numerator you will be getting the probable value of the option by end of the year. So, if I compute it without even using calculator what I get is this is 0 0.75 multiplied by 10 the value of the option by year end will be 7.5 dollars. If you divide it by 1.1 you will actually convert the options value in terms of its present value. So, it will be 7.5 dollars divided by 1.1 that comes to dollars 6.82. So, you may conclude the value of call option at present is dollars 6.82. So, please write up this entire calculation and then we move ahead.